So I want to talk about your music, but I also want to talk about something about relationships because um, the song that I heard um, when I started following you on Instagram was crazy. Oh, that was, that was like a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. That song. It's a hit, all, right? Yeah. It's a hit, right? <laughs> it's out of here. Crazy is going to change my life. When we really get a campaign behind that record, it's going to change my life. I think that's going to be a platinum record. Sammy, that yeah. song, Thank I you. mean... I'm sure, number one, it speaks to every relationship that has happened. Only women could relate to it. And men can relate to it, but they don't want to relate to it, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy that um, I sing about the things we converse about in the barbershops, but we don't feel masculine enough to say it to the world. If I was a rapper, I might be Drake. Drake is very emo, right? I'm yeah. that. I'm an I'm, I'm R&B, Pisces, emotional, over-expressive guy to the core. So and let me I still tell, have my masculine in that. Let me tell uh, the viewers exactly what the song, in, in case they haven't heard the song crazy. Okay. I, should, I should let you tell them. But, well, uh, but hold on, I have a post. Your post, your post actually says it all. So I'm just going to read your post. Okay. Um, your post says, fellas, a lot of y'all have queens, but yeah. don't provide to them the peace and security they deserve. So you influence them to react in a way in which we, you fellas, yeah. label as crazy yeah. that's not crazy it's called feelings be mindful i once was that guy too at some point you gotta and this is my favorite line sammy at some point you gotta king, king up up yeah. what that's your song right there too you need to create you need to <laughs> a king up a king yeah. up. i ain't never heard that one before sammy yeah. king up come on king now. Up. Mm -hmm. come on now i'm um i'm starting a foundation actually entitled king up foundation uh, is dedicated to men or young boys, young men that uh, grew up in a fatherless home or they didn't have an older brother to look up to. Like my little brother's father, unfortunately, was incarcerated for like 12 years of his life. So my little brother is not just my little brother. It's like my son to me. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids, but I love Anthony Allen Jordan Jr. Like I birthed him. Um, you know, I think, you know, it comes a point in our lives where we have to take accountability for our actions. You know, if I cheat, I commit infidelity. If I make you feel insecure, um, and my job is to starve your insecurities, not feed them. Ooh. You feel me? But yeah. if I feed them, I have to take accountability. And if you react, it's not crazy. It's you reacting to the hurt. And so if the, I'm busting tires, that's not Yeah, me. I'm not saying it's okay to bust tires and slash, you know, out my, my, my windows or scratch my car. But it's a reaction to what I caused. Yeah. I provoked you, you know? And, and although I believe in the idiom, you know, it's not what happens to you. It's how you react to it. Men, man, we just have to do better, you know? and and 29, I don't know what happened when I turned 29. I'm 33 now, but when I turned 29, I had an awakening spiritually, emotionally, physically, that I wanted to be better. And I got tired of like running from myself. I got tired of hiding from myself. I got tired of um, allowing women to fall in love with the representative, you know? And we all are guilty of that, not just men. Women do it too. But um, I just speak from a male's perspective. So crazy is something that every person can relate to. Every man has called a woman crazy. Every woman, has tapped into her crazy. So I, I felt like, where is the song? We never had that. So when I heard the instrumentation, I, I left a little clip on um, Instagram. That's well over 100,000. I think on Facebook, it's headed that's to a, a million. And a I know, I know I'm saving in the arsenal for my next album, not this one, Such Is Life, that's coming out on the 5th of June, but my sixth album, Sunset. I don't know what you're holding on to that for, but okay. You know, it's like timing though. Music is also very calculated. So, you know, we're in the full uh, head of steam on the fifth album. And I feel like, you know, I know for certain, even without putting out a record crazy, when I do release it, it's going to resonate. 